Hey, look, it's webcam mark. So I actually did some stuff today. I worked on two tanks for a little bit, uh, about an hour-ish compiled times. I got through like three and a half lectures. I was trying to deeply understand stuff, but whew, it is Tuesday. Still want to draw stuff. I have like four things on my to-do list. <laughs> Seashell development has concept art and tune tanks. I think if I can, I want to power through and get tune tanks done, but there are shorter lectures, but there's a lot more to do outside of it. And just in terms of understanding, because it goes, goes by much more quickly. Once I finish it though, I'll go over what I learned. The third person view and C++ classes and blueprint stuff is super useful thus far though. And I'm, you know, going back to the docs and making sure I read stuff and not just copy paste code because this stuff is all going to leave me if I don't. I have to jump into some <laughs> schoolwork for today. I got to go read, do some language learning, then like classes and a paper to write. Then I got to go record the language learning video. So there's a lot of stuff that I got to work on today. That is not game dev. I was genuinely thinking this morning that this might be the week, but the first week where I say no progress this week. I still don't know what's holding me back so much about sketches. I think I just got to do it. There was a, there was a, th what was I thinking about earlier? If you are too scared of doing something and then don't do it, you might as well just do it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but like it makes sense in my head. It's like no one cares, right? So no one's going to judge you or like nobody gives a crap. And if someone does give a crap, then don't care about them. My brain's still not working today. God dang it. It's like you want to read more, right? But when you go to read, it's like, oh, I also got to work on my schoolwork. Uh oh. But then you end up just going to YouTube or something. You might as well just read at that point. Like today I was thinking, OK, I want to go read, but I should work on my paper. And then I opened up Twitter and I was like. What? <laughs> there are things that we just need to push ourselves to do. So for me, I'm going to go read this more, mostly because this is cool. So I'm going to have to read Agamemnon. But yeah, hopefully I'll get to sketches today. I really want to. We'll see how it goes. All right, devlog update. So I've been hard at work on the language video. Coming out the 15th is the deadline I hope to hit. And I just I just wanted to talk about how I kind of got myself back up today. I still have 16 things on my to-do list. It's 524. I have to go and record this video. No natural light, so I'm going to work with this. We'll see how it goes. But that's aside the point. I found myself unconsciously waiting around for the right moment, right, to wait until I felt incentivized again. And regardless of whether or not it's been the fact that, you know, I haven't been out to run in like five or six days or my diet's been pretty crap the last few days, motivation does it doesn't exist. Motivation is crap. Motivation is created by action as opposed to the other way around. Now, a lot of what I ramble about comes from the, my readings or my interpretations, I should say, of philosophy. You know, I want to get this paper done on Monday and submit it on Monday, but it's Wednesday and I have it done. I'm glad I waited. If on all honesty, we had a recitation and I learned something. Sometimes professors look for very specific formats, but that's aside the point as well. I finally sat down and I got it and I got to do it. Sometimes we can feel great about doing things. And I think the last couple of months I was in a really good stride. I would sit down for seashell work. I would have a clear vision. I'd say, okay, I'm going to work on tune tanks today or um, for videos. It's like, all right, I'm really enjoying the videos for game design. Okay, sweet. This class is going so well. Sometimes, and this could be an existential crisis. It could be something else. Our stride just breaks and it feels like we're, we're just, we're just stuck. Hopefully this isn't starting to become a motivational video. This is just what I'm, I've learned from today that I want to give to you. Sometimes we have to seriously push ourselves. Uh, sometimes self-discipline is not convincing ourselves that something is good or it is the right time for something, but simply doing it despite. And I think I'm going to record tonight's VGT about that, but refusing the opposite of what you want is what I came about. For your own personal projects, you might get to it and just be like, oh, but there's, there's some middle ground between just really can't do it and yeah, you know, I'm going to sit down and do it. There's a middle ground of, you know, I really don't want to do this right now, but I'm going to force myself through it. I enjoy writing. The paper was a rough time to write. I like making videos. It was tough to finally sit down and review my script. I want to make a game. It's just really tough to draw. I don't know if it's the fear of failure. I'll keep thinking about it over the next several days, but this is probably going to be it for today's devlog. We'll see what I get to next, but yeah, so. When in doubt, if you can't discover your resolve, remember that your hands are yours and yours alone. So if there's something you want to do, look at yourself in the mirror, look at your own hands, get it done. Yeah, you know, I'm not a motivational speaker, so take take all this with a very with several grains of salt. But uh, that's just kind of what I realized today. And, I, and after I sat down and forced myself through that paper, the script came like that. I, I went outside for a walk like that and I'm sitting down to record the devlog and I'm about to jump into the video. 
like that. And I snap, it's not actually that easy, but you know, that whole paper felt like it was, I was pushing this, I felt like Sisyphus pushing a boulder up the hill, right? And then I was I was up at the top of the hill for a long time and it just came rolling back down. So yeah, I'll, I'll record a separate outro later, but thanks for watching. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hey guys, so it is 10.35 PM. Um, a little tired as you can see, but I just wanted to amend quick thing on the devlog i did a vgt i kind of got my idea more fleshed out here and it is refusing to not do something so today for my paper i put myself into this frame of mind that instead of you know sitting down and saying i'm gonna do this paper and then picking up my phone and you know looking at instagram which i deleted recently because i found myself falling into that habit again i'll just check the web browser for dms if you want to reach out to me blah, blah 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 um that frame of mind right and obviously this is a frame of mind thing so take it with a grain of salt says you can do one thing and then you could also do all these other things. And only when things come about, checking Instagram, not reading a book for some people, watching a video, all those things are still things that we can go do. But if we change our frame of mind to refuse not doing something, so I refuse to not do this paper, it rejects the entire space of possibility, except the paper. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's finally what I'd said. You know what, Mark? Motivation is not gonna come. Incentive's not gonna come. You gotta just do something. And instead of saying, I'm gonna do this paper and push away everything that comes up, just refuse to not do the paper. And I think as much as it hurts to say because of how much I want to want to do it, when seashell times come up for sketching, because two tanks has sort of been easy to fall into. Well, anyway, but for sketching, it's I refuse to not sketch. So when I sit down to sketch, I have to sketch. It doesn't become, okay, as long as I don't watch YouTube, I can work on Toon Tanks. As long as I don't watch YouTube, I can go read. It's got to be a refusal not to do something. It's Wednesday, though. I'll be a little up in the air these next few days, but I'm hoping to sketch.